four times with the left, four with the right. Miss Hardy, will you try sharing? Sloan, will you reshare that uh, presentation with me? Yes. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday, Miss Hardy. Happy birthday, Miss Hardy. Some, you know, some of this, some songs are just timeless, Mr. Sloan. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really just a treat to start your day with some Beastie Boys. Uh, fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for humoring us uh, as the old people uh, listen to their tunes. Uh, we will get into some more uh, current music in just a few. But first, we've got some announcements. Uh, first of all, We've got a dine and donate this Tuesday, January 12th at Easy Street Pizza on Irving Park. If you mention CICS, when you order, 20% of sales will go back to Irving Park. So eat some pizza on Tuesday and support your school. It's like a win-win. Uh, this is also a reminder to take your yearbook photos. You can see the email from Ms. Stern for more information. That went out to everybody. So check your spam. Uh, if you didn't get an email from Ms. Stern, your parents didn't get an email from Ms. Stern um, about the yearbook photos. Are you interested in reading the morning announcements? You don't have to do it live. You record yourself. It is so fun. Uh, reach out to Ms. Kreller um, and she will hook you up, okay? We would love to have more kids read our morning announcements. 
Uh, fantastic. So let's get into it, guys. Everybody's favorite part of the community gathering, Pumas of the Week. Hold on, I'm just going to pull up a, a more relevant playlist, if you will, more um, for our folks. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, first out of the gate, Miss Drury's class. This Puma has been working extremely hard this week. She's been participating during our lessons. She completes all her seesaw assignments, and she has been trying her best on Lexia and ST Math. Keep up the great work. We are proud of you. Love. Miss Drury, coming out of Miss Drury's kindergarten class, the Puma of the Week is Ariana P. Woohoo! Yeah, way to go! All right. On to Miss Cayman's class, and then we'll get into our first riddle. How about that? This toothless, two front teeth missing friend is off to a great start in 2021. He is working hard to complete his work while always finding a way to keep our friends laughing and smiling. Miss Cayman can't wait to keep watching you grow. Nice work. Coming out of Miss Cayman's class in our kindergarten community, the Puma of the Week is. Isaiah, hey! Yeah, Isaiah! Way to go! Way to go, Isaiah! All right. Here we go. All right, um, first out of the gate, which is faster, hot or cold? Which is faster, hot or cold? Hmm, science question, Mr. Sloan, science. Get ready for it, tons of science. Let me see if there's some new, uh, let's see here real quick. We could do a little of this. All right, here we go. On to Miss Kobiella's Puma of the Week. This Puma is sharing and participating more and more each day. We are so excited to hear all of your thoughts. She works hard to stay focused and has been showing drive on her independent work. Keep it up. Coming out of Miss Kobiella's kindergarten community, the Puma of the Week is Easily M. Woo! All right, a little throwback there for you, huh? Uh, <clears throat> this Puma had a great first week back from winter break. He showed up to class every day with a big smile and ready to learn attitude. 2021 is going to be his best year yet. Keep up the amazing work. Coming out of Miss Sigleski and Miss Eden's first grade community, the Puma of the Week is Marcus J. Hey, Marcus. Congratulations, Marcus. Way to go. Congrats. Nice work, Marcus. All right, here we go. Our first trivia question, which is faster, hot or cold? Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, uh, let's see. Miss Mobley says, um, super hot. Uh, mix of answers. Hot since hot molecules are light, wow. There we go. We've got one correct answer. I love it that uh, we're talking about molecules because that's literally how we perceive hot and cold is the distance between molecules, right? <clears throat> and how they're moving. Uh, but Miss Guyon's class has it hot, uh, hot because you can catch a cold. 
hot because you can catch a cold. Oh, tricky today. That one was real tricky. All right. Maybe it's because I've got the same riddles that I used in middle school up. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Here we go. Um, do, 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 do. Where is the only place that yesterday always follows today? Where is the only place that yesterday always follows today? Hmm. Think on that, and we will get to our next Puma of the Week. Hold on, I'm going to pull up some tunes. All right. Here we go. All right, from Miss Gekko's class, this Puma's been working so hard this week. He's off to a rocking start in the new year. He is always ready to share and work with his classmates. He has done an ama uh, He's done amazing with measurement this week, too. Wow, measurement in a remote setting, I cannot even imagine. We all love you. Coming out of Miss Geckel's first grade uh, class, the Puma of the Week is Josiah. Hey! Woohoo! Way to go, Josiah! you kids bop really did a number on that one that is that's my personal version of old town road guys i like it better than the original gonna be honest with you here we go all right wow what a hard worker this puma is this week she has gained 10 units on lexia and has solved 63 puzzles in st math we admire you because you are responsible and always kind way to go here she is this week's puma of the week from Miss Guyon and Mr. Staten's class, Alessandra E. Here we go. Where to go, Alessandra? All right, here we go. Let's let's figure out the answer to this riddle. Um, here we go. Where's the only place that yesterday always follows today? Hmm, who's got it? Who's got it? Warm up those brains this morning. Let's see. Um, here we go. Hmm. Alana says the next day and the next week? Could be, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, a calendar. Yesterday follows today. Hmm. Kind of. I can. I can see it. It depends on which way you're kind of like looking at things. I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> Angel says 2020, possibly. Uh, third grade says tomorrow. Hmm. Uh, I will tell you that Miss Mobley and uh, Miss Cohen Revels class got the the given answer because I think we've we've made a case for some of these uh very well and that is the dictionary the dictionary here we go yep Hattie and Mr. Sheets class also uh also gave that answer interesting good job guys here we go all right on to the next riddle let's see if we can find a good one here we go okay Ooh, this one is this one is uh, a pretty tough one. Here we go. Um, let me make sure that this is right. <laughs> I don't think the, their answer is right on this one. Okay, uh, what is that that someone else has to take before you can get it? Hmm. What is uh, what is it that someone else has to take before you can get it? And I, I, I think that the answer to this one may not be completely relevant in this day and age, I will say. What is it that someone else has to take before you can get it? 
Mm, and I'll give a big clue before we can, uh, before we do it. All right, here we go. Uh, up next, Mr. Sheets's class. We are so lucky to have this Puma as part of our community. He's always bringing upbeat energy to class that is contagious. On top of that, he's kind, thoughtful, and supportive of all of his classmates. We are so happy you're a part of our class. Coming out of Mr. Sheets's room and our second grade community, the Puma of the week is Jonah D. Here we go from Miss Cohen Revels class. This Puma always has a smile on her face and is someone you can always count on to be positive no matter what. She's improved her reading and math by leaps and bounds this past month. She is truly an example of someone who, quote, when the going gets tough, she gets going. Way to go. Here she is this week's Puma of the Week from Miss Cohen Revels third grade community. Neva R. Woohoo! Go, Neva. Here we go, Neva. Right. Here we go. We are so lucky to have this student in our community. Everyone who works with them has noticed how much drive he's shown this week and every week of remote learning. He's an amazing participant during small groups and does incredible work on Seesaw. We feel so lucky every time we get to see his face. Thank you for being you. Coming out of Ms. Slabowski Wong's class and our third grade community, the Puma of the week is Lucas D. back let's get the answer to this riddle let's see hmm what is it that someone else has to take before you can get it and again may not be entirely relevant in this day and age here we go oh miss hardy got it mm. <laughs> uh campbell and miss cayman's class says medicine Someone else has to take it before you can get it. Well, let's hope that other people have taken some medicine before uh, we have to make sure that it's safe, right? That they've tested it out. I see how that works. Uh, Noah V says a remote. Sure, that could work. Uh, uh, Miss Lebowski Wong's class has it. Let's see. Up. Oh, yep. Uh, Miriam says money, which is an interesting example too, especially if uh, uh, if you're a kid and not allowed to work, right? Somebody else has to get money before you can get, it, before your parents or, or a family member could give it to you. Um, let's see, here we go. All right, uh, Miss Hardy, um, Alana, Miss Lebowski Wong's class, uh, Miss Mobley agrees with Alana. Uh, and uh, Miss Guyon's class, Michaela and Noah and Esmerai and Mr. Staten all say a picture. Yes. Why would I think that that isn't always uh, isn't always exactly right in this day and age? Hmm. Why would I say that? Put it in the chat. Uh, I love it. JDL and Miss Cullen Revels class says uh, a test. Yeah. Like uh, much like medicine, we want to make sure that. The test is reliable. And so hopefully somebody else has taken it and shown that it's reliable. Hmm. 
Interesting. Good. And why would I say that it's not always relevant in this day and age, that that answer isn't always relevant? Okay, here we go. Let's see. Our final riddle, maybe not final. Let's see. Okay. Um, what runs all around a yard without moving? What runs all around a yard without moving? Hmm. Think on that and we'll get to our first fourth grade Puma of the week. Here we go. This Puma has been an all-star online learner ever since school began. Her ready to learn attitude and hard work had been even more evident during our first week back from break. Her peers nominated her for being an incredible teammate, a kind friend and always participating in class. We love you. Here she is this week's Puma of the week from Miss Myers fourth grade community, Diana P. Yeah, Diana. Well, this one's a little slow. Hmm. Let's do this one. Here we go. Maybe we'll it's got a slow beginning. Way to go, Diana. All right, here we go. Mr. Malone's Puma of the Week. Whether in reading, math, or enrichment classes, this Puma can be counted on to be on task and learning. His classmates have nominated him for a few weeks now for his drive and for his integrity. Thank you for being a great role model and friend. We're so lucky to have you as a part of our class. Coming out of Mr. Malone's fourth grade community, the Puma of the Week is Angel H. Woo! Yay, Angel! Here we go! Here we go. All right, let's uh, let's figure out our next riddle. Um, what runs all around the yard or a yard without moving? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we've got some some good answers here. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Hardy says a garden hose could be right. Uh, Miss Bobley says her mind. Yes, definitely. Miss Mobley's mind is always running. It's like a like an air conditioner in Arizona. Uh, Miss uh, <laughs> Miss Hardy, did you like that one? I saw you cover your face. This is a bad dad joke, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Alana says uh, grass could be grass. Uh, Miss Hardy also says dirt. Um, Sophia and Genesis and Mister Sheets's class guess grass. Uh, Let's see. Oh, Ms. Guyon's class guessed a snail. Um, Ms. Slabowski Wong's class is split. Some people say a leaf, other people have the given answer. I won't say correct answer, because I think a lot of these are, are spot on. Olivia says grass, let's see. Um, but Chelsea in Ms. Uh, Cullen Revel's class, Quinn in Mr. Sheets' class, uh, Let's see, Miss Lebowski Wong's class, uh, Miss Drury's class. Um, let's see, Alana, Miss Eden's, uh, Carter and Miss Meyer's class uh, all have the given answer, which is fence. A fence runs all around a yard. Fantastic, great work, guys. All right, let's do one more. I'll see if I can find a good one. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, okay. All right. Uh, what keys can't you put in a lock? What keys can't you put in a lock? We've had a riddle that's similar to this one, but let's see. All right, here we go. It's time for our Enrichment Stars of the Week. The Art Star of the Week is up first. This, uh, this Puma has been an excellent example for her classmates representing responsibility, problem solving, and creativity. She's made uh, this Eden's first week in art fantastic. 
Keep up the great work. Here she is this week's Art Star of the Week, Emily T. Congrats, Emily. Way to go, Emily. Here we go. Okay, it is time for our Makerspace Star of the Week. This Puma is a creative maker with great ideas and has shown true commitment to learning new things. Coming out of Miss Meyer's fourth grade community, the Makerspace Star of the Week is Olivia D. Way to go, Olivia. All right, the Music Star of the Week. This Puma has been positively participating all week, creating his own songs, including the class hit Buffalo Wild Wings. Also, his new kitten, Ash, has made several cameos this week, much to everyone's delight. From Miss Cullen Rebels class, the music star of the week is Noah D. Noah. Yeah, way to go, Noah. No, we're gonna need we're gonna need a, a recording of Buffalo Wild Wings. We'll 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 drop that tune Great job. in the community gathering. Great job. All right, let's figure out the uh the answer to our riddle, our final riddle. Let's see. What keys can't you put in a lock? What keys can't you put in a lock? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I gotta get to the new answers. <laughs> oh, Miss Bobley. Uh, Miss Bobley says, the key to success, a growth mindset. Yes, true. Uh, oh, Miss Colin Rebel, I love this answer. Monkeys, monkeys, you can't put in a lock. That's great. Um, let's see, cookies. Can't put in a lock. I love it. The Florida Keys, tough to put in a lock. Uh, <laughs> Ms. Hardy says, uh, Allen Keys, the ones that come with Ikea stuff. Yes. This, by the way, might be our best round of answers yet. Um, the <laughs> Mr. Sloan says, Alicia Keys. Yes. <laughs> uh, but Gus, uh, Miss Lebowski Wong's class, uh, Noah and Elise from Miss Guyon's class, uh, Nevea from Miss Myers' class, uh, Miss uh, Miss Alana Staswick, um, and uh, Annabelle from Miss Drury's class, uh, Jaden from Miss Myers' class, uh, all have the given answer, which is uh, uh piano keys <laughs> i had to think about it there there's so many good ones all right let's see here real quick i'm just gonna send somebody a quick chat um yeah it is time for everybody's favorite or second most favorite part of the community gathering staff of the week here we go. This Puma works with students, staff members, and parents, and she is a collaborator extraordinaire. She is thoughtful, knowledgeable, and, and insightful. She's also warm and caring and has great relationships with both students and staff. Her big heart makes students feel welcome, and her expertise helps teachers be better teachers. She has put so much time to ensure the equity of our students and families. We are so lucky to have her as an integral member of our team. Here she is, this week's Staff of the Week, the one, the only, Miss Miano! Woohoo! Yay! We go, Miss Miano! Miss Miano! I mean, Kids Bob is where it's at, guys. Uh, I'm serious when I say that I like some of the versions that they do as much, if not more, than the 
Uh, <laughs> the kids really do bop. That is right. Uh, Mr. Sloan. Fantastic. Thank you all for coming today. We are so excited that you were able to make it um, and celebrate with you guys this new year um, and all the wonderful things that our students and teachers are doing in our school. Uh, work hard today, show pride. And as always, if you are proud to be a Puma, let me hear you say Puma Pride. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.